What's up? What's going on, Pisces? Thank you guys so much for all your support. You guys have been hitting me up for personals. I appreciate you. Um, if you're looking for your personal, you can hit me at PiscesRS.com. Just note that it will take about seven days to get your reading back, okay? So let's see what's popping for Pisces dealing with earth signs all right so pisces versus earth signs we're gonna pull some cards for pisces and then we'll pull some cards for earth signs Taurus, Virgo, capricorn and see what the messages are here okay some messages for pisces all right okay it's pisces and let me get some cards for earth at the bottom here Taurus, Virgo, capricorn it's gonna be pisces versus earth how is Earth feeling? How is Pisces feeling? Okay. All right. Look like we got four cards for Earth, three for Pisces. Okay. That flew out. So Earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn could be feeling a bit more things <laughs> than Pisces. Okay. Wow. So the bottom row here, like I said, is going to be how Earth signs are feeling in regards to Pisces. And it looks like Earth is really, you know, really has water on their mind here with this Prince of Cups. Okay. We're going to see how they feel first, and then I'll, I'll spread out your cards. So we got Prince of Cups here, thinking about coming and making an offer. The Magician in the reverse, um, Eight of Cups in the reverse, and then we have the Nine of Swords in the reverse. Okay, so this person, wow, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces. This person does really think about you here um, with this Prince of Cups energy. You know, you're definitely exciting them. You're definitely um, stirring up some some small emotions and I feel like this person really wants to bring you some sort of message um offer of romance or interest you know but with this magician in the reverse here it, it, either they feel like they cannot manifest you they feel like you are unattainable in a way um yeah, because I, I mean, I would say, you know, trickery here, deception, but with the other cards, the eight of cups in the reverse and the nine of swords in the reverse, I just feel like ultimately this person is fearful. OK, this person is a bit afraid of um, how you're going to react to this situation here. They want to bring forth some type of energy here. OK, this Taurus Virgo Capricorn, they really do have some type of um romantic feelings for you that they want to share but it's like they're confused as fuck okay <laughs> they're confused and they're really afraid of losing out once again um on this potential love situation with you okay i don't know if this is someone from your past i don't really feel past energy but this um you know nine of swords eight of cups is just like this person here it, they've gone through a great deal of turmoil in the past in regards to love and you know maybe putting themselves out there is something that's like really hard for them right now um because of you know what they went through in the past and they just feel very fearful but the first card out is upright and it's very very obvious that this person you know has some type of message has some type of um you know offer they want to give you period they do i just ugh, is it coming i don't know i'm gonna I'm a pull some clarification all right but let's see how you feel about them so we have the six of wands victory seven of wands okay and we have the five of cups five six seven okay it came out you know kind of not in um ascending order but regardless pretty pretty um synchronized energy here i feel like this is something spiritual this is something supported you could be seeing numbers um in regards to this person like angel numbers um 1111 222 um you know you're just seeing numbers that remind you of this connection or this person it's just something about this connection that you have with this taurus Virgo capricorn that you feel is spiritually supported okay um Six of Wands here. You definitely see victory in the situation. You definitely want to go towards them in some way, shape, or form because you feel like if you did, you would have success here. Um, it's like you just see this thing as being something that works out, okay? You feel like although you want to rush towards the situation, you're not, okay? You definitely maintain control with the Seven of Wands. You're maintaining that pace of you kind of just waiting and seeing okay and because you're doing that i think this person who you know 
wants to come forth with this offer, this Taurus Virgo Capricorn Pisces, they don't feel confident because you're maintaining your regular course, okay? I don't think they know how passionate you feel about them. I don't think they know that because with this Five of Cups energy here, it's like you yourself, you're coming up out of a situation where you were losing, okay? You were you lost something. You felt most emotionally depleted at one one point in time and you know, I think you're fearful of repeating that cycle. All right? So you feel like you know, you have to move forward on your own path. And if someone wants to come towards you with an offer, Hey, you're with it, you're down with it, but you're going to maintain your, your course and you're going to keep control in this situation. You're not going to be the one who is emotionally out of control and, you know, letting how they feel dictate their next move. You're not, you're not doing that. That's not your energy. Okay. And so because of that, this, this earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn is just very, very, very hesitant about coming towards you. They're, they're down route, they're downright scared, okay? Let me pull an outcome card for this situation. It's the outcome card here, okay? The King of Swords reversed. And the Fool, huh, interesting, interesting. So the outcome here, we have the King of Swords reversed and the Fool. Very, very conflicting type of energy. <laughs> so the King of Swords, I say reversed, is like, you know, somebody could be manipulating you into taking this risk or this chance, okay? This outcome here could mean there's a new start. There's somebody who's ready to be a fool and jump into this thing head first, okay? This could be this uh, Taurus Virgo Capricorn, all right? Could be you, but I don't think so. I think your energy is more so the Knight of Swords Pisces and you could kind of be manipulating this leap of faith, okay? You could be manipulating this Taurus Virgo Capricorn to come towards you. They don't even know why, all right? Um, And it could just be that you're playing it hot and cold with this person, you know, with the fire energy here. And then we got the King of Swords. I feel like you could really be like giving mixed signals. You could be playing hot and cold, pulling your energy back a little bit. And so now this towards Virgo Capricorn, they're even more confused. But at the end of the day, they're drawn towards you because you are, you know, so hot and cold. It's like you are drawing them into you. Okay. And a bit of it, could be manipulating all right Pisces you could be manipulating this person's emotions and this person's um movements and that's just because you know you're trying to protect yourself on the board here it's like you're playing chess all right and you're not gonna let them checkmate you you're just not okay so I feel like this person may actually take a chance take a leap of faith and come towards you with some sort of offer communication um i do think it's going to be minimal though because this first card out was prince of cups so this person could be um a bit younger than you or just you know just immature or just not having a lot to offer at the moment but it is going to be something um some type of emotional type of offer or message i think they're going to come and just say fuck it they're going to hop off the cliff and just say hey i'm just going to come towards pisces and see what happens all right because i think you you kind of have manipulated this outcome from them pisces all right i'm gonna go ahead and pull some um Advice cards, oracle cards. Let's do a romance one and then we'll do a moonology. Okay, got one of those. Oop. Let's get an advice card for Pisces dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right, two moonology and one romance. Okay, so what do we have? We have surrender to the divine, we have meditate and contemplate in the reverse. And we have healing family issues upright. All right, Pisces. So in regards to this situation, I think it is time for you to surrender um, and just let what happens happens. Um, really no need to be manipulative in any way, because remember, karma's real. OK, so what you put out is what you're going to get back. Um, so I know there's a part of you guys that's probably out there trying to protect yourself from this towards for Capricorn. But at the end of the day, I think you just need to meditate on it. I don't think you are really in touch with yourself. OK, this is new moon and Pisces card that 
fell out here and it fell in the reverse. So make sure that you're being your true authentic self, Pisces. Do not feed into these mind games. Don't feed into these emotional manipulative games that people play in order to, you know, get love or lust to come their way. It's just not worth it. In the long run, you're going to be the one missing out and you're going to end up playing yourself. Okay. So just make sure that you get in touch with yourself. If you need to meditate, if you need to get, you know, in uh, nature, whatever makes you feel grounded, do that and do it quickly. All right. I think that you need to get back to your true authentic self, let your intuition guide you in regards to this connection. All right. And spirit is also telling you that family issues could be a part of this thing, all right? So it says your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So that could definitely be a specific message for someone out there who feels like their home life, their family life, or, you know, childhood traumas, whatever. It could just be um, cycles that are, are making you feel like you can't trust um, this connection coming in. And, you know, just make sure you're not going back to old habits and, you know, acting off of wounds that have never been healed. All right. Make sure that you heal from the past, heal from whatever, um, you know, didn't work out in the past so that you can move forward confidently in your future and that you can manifest and call in the beautiful things that are supposed to be in your life. Okay. And the beautiful people that are supposed to be in your life. All right. But advice here, I would say meditate, surrender, let things play out organically. All right. And just remember who you are, Pisces. Okay. So I truly hope these messages helped you. If you guys enjoyed this Pisces versus Earth sign reading, please leave me a comment below so I know um, and that I can give more of these type of readings to you guys. All right. So thank you again. If you're looking for personal, go to PiscesRUs.com and I'll talk to you later. Bye.